Paris was prepared for riots, but the morning started quite unexpectedly. A massive explosion in a bakery in the centre of the city. I've counted at least five stretchers being rushed down to the scene. Three of them have come back, two with people on there who are obviously seriously injured. There is a hotel here treating the wounded, walking wounded. Whatever happened, whatever the cause of the explosion, it was clearly huge. Three died, including two firefighters, and dozens were injured. The city's emergency services, already on edge, reacted fast and in big numbers. At first, not sure what had caused the explosion. In the middle of the nothing, I heard one big explosion, and then a lot of pressure came out of me. So a lot of black smoke and glasses, and I just have time to get down and cover myself and protect my head. So I feel a lot of things fall on me, and then I covered my head, so a lot of smoke, and I, I, I was in panic. The French Prime Minister and Interior Minister were on the scene within the hour. By mid-afternoon, the focus had shifted, as anticipated, to the Champs-Élysées and a ninth weekend of violence. Protesters dug up the cobbles of one of the most famous streets in the world and used them as missiles. The police hit back with water cannon and tear gas. It's a small, hardcore group who are intent on confronting the police. But even that small group is probably a few hundred strong. In fairness, most of the protesters at the other side of the Arc de Triomphe, just watching what's going on. Police encircled the protesters around the Arc de Triomphe and beat them back. What, what do you think of this image of Paris, this one of the city, and, and, and for nine weeks now there's been... Well, that, that's what the police in the state are trying to make the image of us. They're trying to make, uh, to make an image of us fighting. But the thing is, they, we, we are authorised to be here. We have the right to be here. So for yet another weekend, Paris, one of the most visited cities in Europe, was in chaos. President Macron's government is being severely tested, and images like this are not helping. Alice Bunkle, Sky News, in Paris.